A retired McNeese professor has a new project that preserves history and educates at the same time. KPLC's John Bridges says it's this man's way of celebrating hometown heroes. The most fulfilling things I ever did in theater were my devised documentary theater productions where we, we, a group of people got together without a script and created a theatrical production on hurricanes, teenagers, autism and Asperger's, all kinds of things that I felt that needed to be understood. And that's how retired McNeese professor Charles McNeely came up with Dev Doc Theater. With the help of volunteers, McNeely is interviewing people who have stories to tell from which others may learn. I love the idea of having someone talk about what they have experienced so their descendants and generations to come will know this is how it was. I, I think it's very important to, to hear from people who have lived it. And I, by it, I mean anything that they've gone through. Like Amber and Julian Quibido, who experienced the loss of their first child. It is like the hardest thing to say or to talk about. Our baby is dead. Like, it's a really awful thing to have to say. Um, and, but really, I think that we would, we would benefit quite a bit if more people would feel okay to talk about it. Or Terrell DeVille, a survivor of Hurricane Audrey. While I was waiting to be rescued, I thought that I would not be rescued because yeah. I had seen the seaplane come up to a point to where I thought it would have seen me and yes. it would have come down and picked me up. But no, it flew away. I, I see every one of these people uh, as, as, as heroes and as people who have overcome things that, that I, I could never dream of overcoming. In Lake Charles, John Bridges, 7 News. The stories of Dev Doc Theater can be seen on their website and YouTube channel. Well, Wade's here now with another check of the weather.